It's been 30 years since bison were reintroduced to the tall grass prairie, a once thriving ecosystem that had been dead for more than 100 years. Now the bison population has grown to nearly 2,000, and the tall grass prairie is prospering with no signs of slowing down. News on Six's Kristen Weaver explains why the bison need the prairie and the prairie needs the bison. The bison are all slowly being rounded up before they get a checkup next month. It's a tedious process, but an important one here on the tall grass prairie. The nearly 2,000 bison living on the 25,000 acres of the tall grass prairie preserve are being herded to smaller and smaller holding pastures before they each get their annual inspections. These giant grazers keep the tall grass prairie thriving. Only about 4% of the tall grass prairie remains. Harvey Payne with the preserve says the last bison was killed in the 1850s in Osage County and without them, the prairie also died. But 30 years ago, the Nature Conservancy introduced 300 bison back to their native home in Osage County. And now the land flourishes and the population has grown. Osage Nation Principal Chief Jeffrey Standing Bear says it's been a wonderful partnership to honor this endangered land. We learn more and more about how it takes fire, it takes the bison, the way they graze, and, and it takes a certain amount of climate to create a tall grass prairie. Now the prairie serves as a research hub for students to study hundreds of plants and species. We have here the only functioning tall grass ecosystem there is. The animals have increased, the size of the units increased uh, as we've expanded over the years and the interest is increased. For preserve manager Tony Brown, the hard work pays off in keeping the tall grass prairie exactly as it was meant to be. This is our little slice of heaven in the world. Those protecting the prairie say this is an ongoing process and one they want to keep improving for generations to come. In Osage County, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.